welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. A fair few months ago now, I filmed a capsule wardrobe video, which was pretty much just taking a few basic items and then turning them into a bunch of different outfits. I'm sure you've seen these sort of videos floating around for a little while, but the one that I filmed did get a pretty good response from you guys, and a lot of people were requesting for me to do these more often. So finally, I'm back with a part two. The first one, I definitely kept things very, very simple and stuck to the bare wardrobe essentials. Everything was black, white, and a dark wash denim with very conservative sort of silhouettes as well. So this time around, I wanted to push it a little bit further while still keeping everything very simple and wearable because I think that's the main reason why a lot of you guys liked that video compared to some of my other ones where, I don't know, it's not like I have a wacky style, but some things might not be as wearable for everyone. But yeah, this time around we're thrown in a few extra textures and prints and patterns and all that good stuff. But I would love to hear from you if you would actually like to see a capsule wardrobe from me that is kind of a little bit more fun and colorful and not what you would usually associate with a capsule wardrobe. So let me know if you're interested in that. But for now, let's run down today's pieces. We have a plain black mini dress. We have a denim jacket, a check blazer, denim jeans, a midi length polka dot dress, a trusty old Harley Davidson graphic tee, a pair of leopard trousers, and then also a cute little white top and a sheer black long sleeve top as well. And just like last time, I'm also keeping the accessories to a minimum as well, just to keep it a little bit more realistic, I guess. So we only have one pair of black heels and a pair of white sneakers. And then we also have a crossbody bag that's super versatile and a pair of really cute little 90s style sunglasses. So yeah, let's get into the looks. So first up, I thought we'd start with an outfit that I have worn many times before, and it is styling my favorite pair of leopard print trousers. This is a piece that would probably be a little bit too bold for most people's capsule wardrobe, but for me, leopard print totally acts as a neutral. I can style it with just about any color and any silhouette. Next up, we have the midi length dress. And the great thing about this is the polka dot print and asymmetric hemline, which adds so much to the look without you actually having to do anything. But I still decided to add this sheer shirt underneath for added texture and a more dramatic silhouette for an evening look. Hopefully you can already start to see just how versatile this shirt is. It's not an item that would be considered a wardrobe essential usually, but honestly you can style it so many different ways, pulling the sleeves up and down, tying it in the front or the back. You can wear something under it, over it, or on its own. For look number four, I kept my light wash jeans on, but for the rest of the outfit, slipped into something a bit more casual. This white top is very cute and keeps the look somewhat polished, but adding on the sneakers and oversized denim jacket definitely dresses the look down. Next up, I've thrown on my midi dress again, but this time around, I'm keeping it very, very simple and styling it in a more casual way with nothing underneath, but adding a denim jacket just for a little bit of extra color and texture to the look. You can style it around your waist, over the shoulders, or, you know, like an actual normal person. <laughs> A plain black blazer is listed in a lot of people's wardrobe essentials, but personally I prefer this grey check one. I find it a lot easier to style because it doesn't feel so businessy, especially if you opt for an oversized silhouette. That way you can do some really casual looks or you can also cinch it in the waist for something a little bit more fun. Continuing on with that cinched look into look number seven, and this is actually just the cross body bag that I've transformed into a bit of a belt bag as well. So definitely even look at how versatile your accessories can be. But for the rest of the outfit, this is definitely a go-to of mine, quite a fitted pair of pants, and then just an oversized graphic tee. Of course, one of the easiest layering hacks when you're only working with a few items is to turn your dresses into skirts by simply throwing on a top. And I love how this outfit turned out. I think that the white sneakers really dress it down, but you still have that feminine touch to the outfit. 
look number nine is one of my favorites. I love styling this blazer in a really casual way, just leaving it open and teaming it up with something as simple as a graphic tee and a pair of sneakers. The other thing I love though is the length. It hits about the same spot as the skirt, which is always a super flattering silhouette, even if you have short legs like me. Rolling into look number 10, and I'm sure you've noticed in a few outfits by now that I have this plain black skirt, but of course it is actually the mini dress that I showed you right at the beginning of the video. And I'm not styling this dress on its own at all because it is quite basic, but it acts as a perfect layering piece for so many different items. Clearly, I really do love the combination of this midi dress and the white sneakers, so this time around, I decided to try styling it with my Harley Davidson tee to give an oversized look to the top half, and then cinch it in again with this DIY makeshift bum bag belt bag. Honestly, I think that is the best takeaway from the entire video. Another favorite look of mine actually, and I think the reason is because everything fits so nicely. I think when you're only working with a very limited number of items, it's really important to make sure you're happy with the fit and quality of everything that you have. And I definitely am with especially the top and the blazer. The plain black dress strikes again for an awesome layering piece, this time around not so much as a skirt but I've kind of tried to add the top to it and make it all in one and I think if you're not any the wiser then it totally just looks like a dress that you would have bought like this. I styled it with the sneakers but you could totally dress it up with the heels as well. I couldn't help but include my old faithful a denim jean oversized t-shirt, sneakers, and then even adding in a little bit of double denim action. This is like a uniform for me. And remember, if you're gonna try your double denim, try and make sure that they are the exact same shade for the easiest styling. We have made it to the final look and I had to pull out the leopard print pants just one last time because I love them so dearly. I also have that plain black dress once again, but this time using it as a top and also adding on another top, which is that wraparound one, but I pulled it right off the shoulder to give it a completely different vibe. This is one of my favorite outfits, so I'm glad we're finishing things off on a positive note. So that was 15 ways that I like to style some of my wardrobe essentials. You could definitely do even more looks than that, but I didn't want this to get too repetitive. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up for me. And of course, let me know which looks were your favorite and also what some of your wardrobe essentials are as well, because I always think it's weird when people think that wardrobe essentials is like a set 10 pieces for everyone. I think it definitely varies from person to person. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And hopefully I'll catch you in my next video or over on Instagram at steal the spotlight. <laughs> Thanks guys. I always feel so awkward doing like the outro, but yes, thank you. Mwah.